If you're looking for a simple and well-rounded note apps that can be available to you anywhere on your mobile, tablet, laptop, or PC, then you must use this free OneNote app from Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you in this short video how to use it on your Android mobile because we carry a phone with us everywhere we go. So this is the best place where we can jot down our ideas on important notes whenever we need them. So here are all the useful functions available to you in your mobile OneNote. Okay, now I'm in one of the notebook inside Microsoft OneNote. Let me open one page and show you the functions. Okay, so basically all you need is just create a page. You can click right below here. Okay, and this is your new page. Now, if you have no time, you don't need to name your page. If you have time, you can always go back later and name it. So let's just put in here XXXX or whatever, right? So these are all the functions that you see on the screen. Now, this is on my mobile. Now, if you're interested, look at the tablet with the pen function, then I'll show you another video. So over here, basically, let's say you can see here, there's a plus sign. Yeah, and there are many function over here. I'm going to show you in a while. So let me show you the first one is, let's say you want to have a to-do list or a task or something that you want to do. All you do is just click here, this button, and then you can type here your task one and so on, right? Number two, okay. Then if you have done that, you can also click right over here you show the, the tick sign. So this is very simple for you to create a to-do list. Okay, so if I click here, then I can continue. I can uh, type other notes. Now, if you do not have time, you don't need to organize your task. You can simply type it and later on, if you go to the desktop, it's easy for you to arrange in your desktop or laptop. Okay, so you can continue to type other things. Now, if you want to do like uh, bullet points or bullet points in one, two, three, you can do that also over here. All right, you have all bullet points and uh, you can simply just type any notes that you want. Later, you can go back and then you can select, you can organize the notes. Yeah. Now, if you don't like the font, okay, you can always format right over here. But for me, I prefer to just type in whatever ideas, notes that I quickly jot it down so that I don't forget or whatever points during the meetings. And then I'll go back to my laptop and then I can just format it to any format uh, nicely that I want. Okay. Now, next I'm going to show you, all right, let me clean the, all this up and then we can show you okay the plus sign here so right now if you want to write something just click on the ink here now if you do not have a pen like right now i'm not having a pen on my laptop but i'm able to 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 draw it with your fingers okay my fingers right so you can just basically draw okay drag the page with two fingers okay open it wider now you can size it up later or you want to, I mean, resize your handwriting later on, you can. So click on here, the pen, and you can choose any color that you want. Let's say right now, if I want a red color, I can choose this color. Okay, click again. Or you can have one red and then one another color like uh, black color, all right? So you want to write something and you can write basically here. Hello, use your finger to write. Okay. So if you put it back, now it will be small. Yeah. Now it's totally up to you how you want to size it. Later, when you go back to the computer, you can actually highlight it. Okay. This is to insert like uh, all different types of shapes, arrows. And you want to highlight, just select here. You can highlight it, right? You can make it bigger, smaller, and so on. Or you can just track it all around. So it's a very useful tool. So if you don't like to type, especially during meeting, you can just write. Yeah. 
Now, don't be afraid if you write wrongly. Yeah. Okay. So all you need is to go back to that thing and then select the eraser. You can erase it off. Right. Or you can use a highlighter if you want. Okay. So, all right. This is a useful tool you just want to write. Now, next one. Then we'll show you plus sign again. You can select the camera. Now the camera, once you select the camera, it has multiple function. Okay. You can capture a document or you can capture a photo or whiteboard or business cards. And it automatically attached to your, your the OneNote page, right? And you select actions. Uh, select okay, actions. Now, actually, if you have a uh, text, you can use this to capture, and then you will capture the text on the paper, and then you can paste that onto your page directly. So try it out, and let me know whether it works out for you. Okay. Next is that uh, you can have voice. Voice means that there are two things. One is dictation. So right over here. Uh, it is actually typing down whatever I'm saying right now because I'm on a dictation mode. So let me click over here. Okay. Uh, new paragraph. You see, when I say new paragraph, you'll jump into the next line. Next line. Hello. This is Andrew and I'm testing out one note. So you just click here to stop it. Yeah, if I want to resume, this is dictation. Now, if you are somewhere or listening to a talk or something, you can click on recording and then uh, start recording it. You will insert a audio file onto your notes and then you can click on that to play it back. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that because I'm recording this for you. Now, next is that you can also show you, you can click uh, insert image from your mobile, okay, file like PDF file. So when the file, it can even give you a preview, means that you can see the, the file, the preview of the file directly on your OneNote. Audio recording, if you have earlier audio recording, like just now, I'm recording it right on the OneNote apps, but if you have recorded somewhere else, you can insert the file right over here, okay. Link is, if you have a URL link, yeah? Now you can display, let's say for example, this is uh, my favorite YouTube music. Hey, you just copy the YouTube URL address, boom, click here in there, and this is done. Okay, and uh, one last thing is table. You can insert a table right over here. Now once you insert the table, you can see the, the bottom the menu has this formatting for the table, you can change the the cell color. You can uh, hide the borders. You see, if you hide the borders, you don't see the table anymore, right? If you want to organize your text, usually I like to use table to organize the text so they can can uh, I mean see very nicely, right? Now you want to change the cell color, then you can just change it, right? Change the cell color. You see, okay. So these are the key functions in the OneNote mobile. So try it out, right? Now, what's the important thing is that using this note, right? I like to use like uh, handwriting, the ink function, where you can just write it out quickly and forget about organize nicely in your mobile, right? If you really want to organize nicely, go back to your the laptop or PC because the beauty of having this uh, OneNote is that it can sync across all your uh, devices, right? Your tablet, your PC, or your laptop. So laptop and the PC is where I organize the information nicely. So I hope this short video will show you how to use this uh, OneNote on your Android mobile. Try to use it, right? To me, I use it a lot because it helps me to get all my important notes 
as well as my ideas, okay, into somewhere, right? Because we always carry our phone with us everywhere today. So it's easy to use it and it is able to link it to a lot of the Microsoft product. And the best thing is, is sync across all platforms. By the way, I'm Andrew. If you like this type of video, do subscribe to our channel. We publish productivity content like this. If you have any question, just leave a comment right below and I get right back to you. Now, by the way, here are some of the video that I created earlier. I hope it will help you to improve your work productivity as well. I'll see you real soon in my next video.